Good morning, evening, afternoon. I am Tano Cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Echoes of the Nightmare game. Um, in case you didn't hear my previously and the special episode, if you didn't want to watch it, which is understandable, um, because it's an hour long, I get that. That's a lot to watch. Um, Rui finally went to like the autonomous autonomous zone. I don't think I pronounced that right. And, uh, of way forward and is talking to, what, what was his name? Kazu. The mad scientist guy. His name will pop up randomly and I will remember it. Uh, he's the chairman and her boss and I guess he's talking about some sort of virus which definitely won't mutate. Well, we all know it's going to mutate. And, uh, yeah, we're in front of some doors. And that is where we left off in a convoluted way. Alright, let's continue. The guard on the other side of the checkpoint motions forward. The scanner. Which one of you would like to go first? Me, 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 me. Kosuke. That I knew it was a K name. For some reason, I was thinking Kazahaya. And I don't even know where Kazahaya came from. Is it Kazahaya Kosuke? I don't know. <laughs> Kosuke looks at, down at me. I nod and take a step forward. Once I'm sure that I'm standing in the right place, I assume the same position as last time. Boop, 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 boop. What does that noise mean? That didn't sound like necessarily a bing noise like the last time. Exclamation mark. An error tone. <gasps> I knew it wasn't good. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Uh -huh. Boop. Okay. <laughs> that can't be good. Apologies, Doctor, but the scanner seems to be detecting some unusual biomechanical signatures. Oh? Do people not know about Rui being a mechanic? I don't even exactly know what Rui is, but I figured some sort of mad scientist -y thing was done to her, given the fact that she's alive. Mind checking again could be a false. What is this? What does this mean? It looks like it should be a puzzle. <laughs> okay, not a puzzle. Good. Before I can finish my sentence, the reinforced guard next to me lights up with 3D in internal projection glass not guard apparently it was a transparent screen all along and fair enough the technology isn't anything new it's what it's projecting that worries me in a few seconds the grabbed oh so okay. in a few seconds they grabbed my heart rate blood pressure HDL LDL blood glucose and even matched my fucking DNA with company records rendered it all into a neat little model a model that features a lot more than what's supposed to be there. Other, it's a lot more than what's officially there. Oh, okay, and I get my thingy back. So, in case you didn't see the special that I mentioned earlier, um, I updated the game, so some things over here are different. Um... 
Like, this is, this looks the same. Uh, if I remember, it might be a bit bigger than the previous one. And louder. Um, we don't have any equipment, I don't think. Um, inventory is, um, pretty much the same. I love how descriptive it is, though, so I don't have to do any guesswork. Um, characters changed. So before, the characters list wasn't... I don't remember it being quite like this. I think it used to be smaller. Um, I could be completely wrong. <laughs> but, yeah, this shows all the characters. Let's see, is his name Kazahaya? Do they have any last names on here? Kosuke. No. Alright, I'm gonna return. Um. Reputation. So, Reputation has a whole thing over here, and I looked at it quickly before. It's a little difficult to read. Um, I guess I'll go over it when I actually start getting into gameplay. But I was born, but it goes up and it goes up and down, and side to side. But I don't really have any reputation right now, so I'm not going to look too deeply into that. Objectives. I also don't have any objectives. But as you see, some things are different. Um, I didn't look at the achievements since I was in here earlier. And that's about the same. Oh, uh, this is my current progress. I haven't done anything. Um, uh, this is different. At least I think it was a blink screen. I could also be wrong about that. But it feels different. <laughs> it says integrated reality information system error. Failed to establish secure wireless data link with target device. We don't, we weren't really targeting anything. We don't have any contacts. Rated SSD encryption protocol inactive. Level alpha one. So, yeah. I think that'll change when we get contacts. But, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like the new system. It's a little, it's easier to read than the other one was. Dot, dot, dot. What am I looking at exactly? I want to see. Dot, dot, dot. Well, this is going to be fun to explain. Progress. Oh, luckily Kosuke's here. You're looking at progress, gentlemen. Are you just showing me off at this point? Fortunately, Kosuke steps before the burden of explanation falls on me. And just in time, too. Unless that scanner suddenly got a position on the board, he's the only person here with the Alpha Zero clearance. Dr. Hayata generously volunteered for a clinical trial of some of our newest cybernetic enhancements. Of course, given the high costs of development and installation, we weren't planning on making them common knowledge anytime soon, let alone trying to market them without a stable customer base or product development strategy. Translation. I'm not competent enough to keep company secrets safe, so 
I'm going to play it off like we intended to sell these dangerous body augmentations to the highest bidder. Absolutely brilliant. Do me a favor and delete tonight's readings from the database, won't you? The technology you've seen here isn't really fleshed out enough to go mainstream just yet. Pun intended, of course. <laughs> that, and you know how seriously special services treats even the most minor breaches in confidentiality. No, well, yeah, I read about that. You know. Would be quite a shame if they had to get involved. No way to scare them. Guard. <laughs> Will do, sir. Smart man. Much appreciated, gentlemen. Your check is already in the mail. And give your families my regards, won't you? Today seems like one of those days where we could all benefit from some mutual goodwill. It sounds like more of a threat now. Respectfully, sir. Not being interrogated by the spooks is good enough for me. Glad to hear it. Spooks? Huh. Can't exactly say I was expecting the rest of the corporation to look up to us. But I figure our activities would at least slide partially under, partly under the radar. So she she is part of the just a special service doodads. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem though. If you're part of an organization that's vague enough in its policies and activities to not draw direct umbrage from the community. You have to leave a few footprints behind now and then to make sure people take you seriously. Most of the time, the best they can come up with are rumors. Sure, it can get annoying now and then, but that doesn't stop you from coming up with a better one. All you need to do is make sure the people are gullible or desperate enough to stick their greedy little snouts into the bullshit you're serving them. Oh? This is very bright. Looks very evil. With all the chairs and the shininess. As soon as I step into the boardroom, the change in brightness hits me like an axe through the forehead. It's not a natural brightness either. It's coming from a projection on the far wall, depicting a cityscape that I can't entirely make out, and it doesn't help. It's coming from a projection on the far wall, depicting a cityscape that I can't entirely make out, and it doesn't help my hangover. And that's feeding in and out every few seconds. Well, Brewie, stop drinking. I can feel my ears starting to ring, just looking at it. Let me know if you need a minute, Rui. I have like ten. Kosuke turns to me and apologetically looks at, with apologetic look on his face. As usual, it's convincing enough to convey meaning, but ambiguous enough to leave its authenticity open for interpretation. He's the kind of person I'd have an aneurysm trying to decipher, always 
playing the brooding chameleon act since day one. Oh! Oh! What was that? I went too far. Justin. Oh, did he remind you? Okay, we're going to do that thing. Yep, just like Yama. I miss Yama. I really did enjoy that game. <laughs> I'm fine. The unconventional acoustic design of the Zenith does take some getting used to, I will admit. In order to develop the most secure facility possible for the board, we had to pull out all the stops in screening and soundproofing. No one can hear the screams. It's the very same reason that we don't allow anyone to enter this room alone. So they have to use a buddy system every time? Cool. Not all of us can stomach the... quiet. I see. I hope you'll forgive my raging headache and I for not being thrilled with its architecture. Your enthusiasm is not required, Hayata. Thanks, duly noted. I know you already understand its purpose. We're the wrong person to overhear one of our meetings. Virtually nothing could stop them from becoming a liability to this corporation, present company included. <laughs> Despite being far from amusing, Kosuke's wording is enough to elicit a chuckle from me. Let me guess, that's where I come in. Rui, where are you? Relax. It's a big room. If you're going to waste time beating around the bush, I might as well stretch my legs. Although, if we're currently on the subject of liabilities... you liabilities. Could you inform me as to why that scanner was allowed to reveal the existence of my implants to a couple of gamma-level security guards? If I recall correctly, I'm supposed to deny their existence. I expected you, of all people, to do the same. If it weren't for your well-known benevolence, someone might even accuse you of trying to get your employees killed. He has a well-known benevolence? Hmm... Then, for your sake, I hope that someone isn't you. Again, with threatening me. You know my intentions, Hayata. You know how I operate. Yeah, apparently you wanted to fight death. I'm not some short-sighted executive who throws his people into the grinder on a whim. These men believe in the way forward. They serve this corporation dutifully and in such a low-risk capacity that terminating them would be a waste of resources. And yet, the person who determines what level of risk warrants termination is you. Between the ways you've used that power in the past and your recent efforts to play Quartermaster, you're not doing yourself any favors. Or did you forget about the anti-material rifles that you armed the guards outside this building with? That's not the kind of decision that typically attests to one being a proponent of peace and safety. I mean, I guess it's peaceful if it's scary enough you shoot one person everyone else runs away. Dot, dot, dot. Honestly, if I didn't work for you... You'd rip me a new one, right? Maybe, if the artillery battery outside jammed while I was voicing my exasperation. You do realize that if you hit someone with that, a majority of their assets would be synergistically liquidated onto the premises. Well, that sounds like a mess to clean up. You want one? Yeah, actually, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to run into. Yeah, give me one. Please tell me you're joking. 
Aw, she doesn't want one. The hell would I even do with a gun that big? Um, you know, take people out that you have to. It's not just any gun. It's the Kazehaya Combine X150MA. That's why Kazehaya was stuck in my head. for 50 BMG and topped off with a laser sight and gel stock. <laughs> That's why. Because of the Kazehaya Combine. I spent a lot of time in that codex. You know me. As much as I like to save lives, that kind of firepower is right up my alley. Sounds very efficient. You're clearly interested in getting up someone's alley if you're buying iron from the Kazahayas. I don't know if that's like a kinky thing or not. Kind of sounds like it. They're our business partners, Rui. I know you've likely had a few too many today, but please try to keep your mind out of the gutter. That obvious, huh? Some days it is. Some days it isn't. However, that's not what I called you here to discuss. Okay, good. We're gonna finally talk about that. Dot, dot, dot. So, are you going to tell me, or...? Nothing. Kosei takes a step forward, reaching into the pocket of his coat. At this point, I'm expecting some sort of response, some reassurance, reassuring turn of phrase, maybe even an idle platitude to serve as a distraction. Instead, all I get is a severed head. What? No? Not a severed head? Cool. Oh, this can't be good. Is a glimpse of silver and blue out of the corner of my eye. A grim reminder of the one person I couldn't bring myself to lose. A flash of heat erupts in the center of my chest, yet it dies out as soon as I notice it. Air leaks from my lungs, replaced in short order by a creeping weakness that crushes my throat from the inside. Uh-oh. At that moment, the world appears before me without color. I want to run, but there's nothing to run from. Because in front of me, a small object clatters against the hardwood table. An object that spoke for what I feel, or spoke for what I felt when I lacked the courage to do so myself. Did she end up going to her own grave, I wonder? A pin. A simple pin. That's all it was ever supposed to be. A tool for someone to take notes with, if not a token of affection. I was never, ever supposed to see it again. But... I suppose that's fitting. After all, regardless of what happened to us in the end, we can't afford to just close our eyes and hope things turn out alright. There are certain things we can't part with. There are certain things we shouldn't part with. And then...
there's this. Yama Ishimoto sends his regards. However, make no mistake. Yama knows we're here? We can bring him back. But you're not the only one who wants him alive. Well, I mean, he's alive. I guess he's like in a bed, but... It's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. Okay, cool. What do we got to do to save Yama? Once there was a little girl who met a little boy. No matter how hard this little boy tried, he could not take care of himself. Both of them had to grow up some, though. Until, until then, they agreed to keep each other alive. And this little girl dreams were this little girl's dreams were as big as her heart. Dreams to defend those who couldn't defend themselves. But the little boy she met had dreams of his own. Dreams to be someone to himself, if not to the people around him. Dreams to fight back against a harsh world. In the end, however, both were shattered. And this little girl was forced to make a decision. She was given a weapon and two targets. She could either get to these targets before someone else did or she could refuse a very generous offer and be chosen as a third. She was compensated with a chance to survive. In exchange, she was expected to disappear. This little girl chose the former, believing that she could save herself in that once she did, she could somehow see this little boy again. She believed that she could save him. She believed that she had the time, that she had time. But the only thing she had time for was dooming everyone she cares about to a fate worse than what she'd tried to prevent. When all was said and done, and when all chips were on the table, it was the price of a second chance to high? Was there even a way to succeed? Only time would tell. Too bad, really, for this little girl named Yuri Hayata. And too bad for this boy, this boy named Yama Ishimoto. Does this mean we get to save Yama in this? I feel like my hopes are too high. <laughs> and not that he's dead, because he comes back, I guess. If uh, you are relying on the Lucid 9 game. I don't care if you remember me. I don't care if you've forgotten. I'm still coming for you, you big dummy. And when I get there... We'll take back what's left of our future. Just you wait.
This is ominous looking. What is this? What? 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 It moves? What? What was that? Why did it move? What's over there? Why? Okay. Probably not important. I can distract it. <laughs> as ludicrous as this decision is, I'd like to ensure that you fully comprehend its implication. Oh, who is this? I do if you require additional proof. I can send you a report. Respectfully, Chairman, a report would mean nothing. There, These are several different voices, and I don't know who's who, and so I'm just using my regular voice. You obviously have some lingering emotional attachment to this Aurora project of yours. I could tolerate the independent killings. They did dispose of some problematic individuals, but to use in a therapeutic procedure, the same molecule was found in the individual capable. culpable. Oh, so these are like the different uh, directors from the different companies? So this is way forward, right? That was an isolated incident. Revisions to the formula have been made to, co to compensate. I don't know who's... But this is a W, so I would assume this is also way forward. Oh no, it's not a W, it's a thingy, but I don't remember whose thingy this was. I hope you keep your clinical trials to a minimum then. We're running out of people to blame for your corporation's poor decisions. Gentlemen, if I might comment, attacks against some of my corporation's facilities in District 6 have been occurring at a most concerning frequency. And you're required our assistance. Oh, we'll see what's going on between the board of directors. It is like really getting into the game. I feel like I feel like I'm getting past the prologue and like into what's going to happen soon. I'm very excited. I hope to see you in the next episode.